Welcome to 2D Design with Rob Colvin. For the next part of this assignment, we're going to create a sphere using crosshatch. Remember, we are trying to do a three-dimensional illusion, and we will use crosshatch to try to create the illusion that this is a round sphere. So first thing I want to do is press B for brush, and I'm going to right-click on the image, and I want my brush to be four pixels and I want to use the hard edge round again. I'll click back on the image to make that window go away. I will make sure I have black as my color and I will begin cross hatching. As you're doing your lines, you'll want to use the rotate tool. So press R on the keyboard and you can rotate your image any angle you want as you begin your lines. So you'll notice as I do my lines, I'm not going for straight mechanical lines that you might do with a ruler. I am just putting on lines and cross-hatching as I rotate the image. Remember, the closer your lines, the darker the values, further apart the lines, the lighter the values, and of course in the lines at all you get white. You'll notice I jump around the image quite a bit and rotate and spread my lines out in a way that I try to make it look even in its transitions from black in the core shadow to gray in the transition area to white on the highlight. So as you go along, look for white gaps that you can fill in with a line or two or three and look for smooth transitions. Now I'm going to pick my shadow layer clipping mask and begin cross hatching. Rotate and cross hatch. Rotate again and cross hatch. Remember, closest to the object is the darkest part of the shadow. So you're going to have closer lines in that area next to the sphere. So darker values there. Press escape to reorient your image back to the original vertical. Now I will select my value skill clipping mask and put my lines closer together on the right. Further apart as I move to the left so I have a transition from black to gray to white values. Now I'm going back to my sphere and try to smooth things out. Fill in white gaps that seem too prominent. I'll jump to my shadow layer and do the same thing. Remember, it's blackest closer to the object. I'm selecting my value scale clipping mask and I'll switch to white. And I'm going to go back and forth from black to white ink as I use it for my cross hatching there and try and even out my transition from black on the right to white on the left. Once you have your sphere completed, uh, turn the background on and go to File and Save As. You're going to save it as a PSD. Remember, I want your name on it and I put CH for crosshatch. And save it as a PSD and submit it for the assignment as a PSD so I can see your layers.